Well, it is a tough thing. Whenever a budget comes out, it's uh, there's a lot to weigh. There's a lot to try to figure out what it means to you, what it means for the city. Hartford Mayor Pedro Segaro has his plan out now for the next fiscal year. And the question is, how are taxpayers going to feel about it? News 8's Kent Pierce is live this morning outside City Hall to break down some of the numbers. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Chris. And a lot of times when mayors put out their recommended budgets in cities all across Connecticut, we see them create something that's served, not create something, but highlight something that is bad or ugly that they want to try to renegotiate. In this case, there's some costs associated with the labor for the city and there's costs associated with the pensions for the city. And that's what the mayor says is driving this budget to both cut costs, eliminate jobs, and increase taxes too. Here's the plan. It's a $550 million budget, give or take. And what it does is eliminates almost 100 city jobs. It creates a lot of cuts for city departments as well, $18 million in cuts. And at the same time, it is raising the city's taxes by about 3.5%. And one of the most controversial and interesting things about it is that it proposes to try to mitigate costs by selling a key city asset, and that is the parking lots, parking garages, parking lots, even on street parking with meters. The mayor proposes selling those to the city pension fund to try to reduce the drain that the pension fund is on the city budget. Now, that is controversial. According to the Hartford Current, there are already city councilmen saying that that's not a good idea long term. The mayor is fi uh, firing back, saying that if you don't do that, if you don't sell off the city's parking authority assets to the tune of about $35 million, you will, instead of having a 3.5% rise in taxes, the taxes will go up by 7%. Now, what's going to happen now is that the council and the mayor and possibly the pension fund and the city's unions are all going to get together and try to figure something out to perhaps make this budget not so scary, make it more good, less bad and ugly over the next five weeks. They've got to reach a budget agreement by the end of May. We're live outside Hartford uh, City Hall. I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.